This is the Tiger interface for the players. Here we can see the, the 3D wall, we can navigate the 3D wall, zoom in, zoom out, go to the 2D perspective, or even walk like a pedestrian through the, through the 3D wall. Oh. Be aware with the cars. Um, here, this, are, this is the stakeholder which, were, which we are playing with. This is, uh, these are all the indicators that change in any action made in the game for any player. This is head, water storage, involved people in ECS, green space management, and so on. Did I under discussion, as how I said. And this is the progress bar of a player. Uh, the player to win need to fill this progress bar, which is a weighted sum of the progress of the progress of each individual indicator. Uh, here there is a navigation menu, and here are overlays that shows additional information to the to the players. For instance, this is the overlay of heat effect. Here we can see the heat effect of any building of the city. Uh, this is the NO2 traffic emissions based on the inten traffic intensity on any street that can, that can be set up. Uh, here is, I don't know, here is the zoning plan, for instance, and whatever you can configure all that you want here. And this is the actions menu. That is what the players can do. On a game session. The actions are not yet configured, but by default, for instance, the municipality can build parks, can build sports centers, can demolish buildings, municipality also can buy and sell land, and whatever. When the guidelines for design will be totally set up, the action will be defined in the game. So. And here is, that's all at this moment. Thank you.